In his latest travel, CBS News correspondent Harry Smith made a foray into the world of fashion. He came back with a remarkable success story of men who weave fabric with philosophy. When buyers from the biggest stores in the world gathered in Las Vegas last spring, most agreed the best bet was FUBU. Just leave the shirt just as you see. How much is it? He's adorned very well. A label and a logo so hot it seemed everyone had to have it. Street clothes the kids in the suburbs want. FUBU is a phenomenon. Is it hot? Ultra. A phenomenon because just six years ago, FUBU was little more than the dream of four lifelong friends. This is where it all started, Farmers Boulevard, Hollis, Queens. This is where we all moved in, made the factory, started just shipping clothes, not knowing what we're doing, of course, but this, <laughs> <laughs> this is where it all started. Hollis, I'm Queens, sure. a tattered blue collar section of New York City, is a place where many talk big, but fail even bigger. Entrepreneurs not these know, guys. Every day we woke up 8 o'clock in the morning and just put in a whole day's work 10, 12 at night. Just, just kept doing it. The FUBU founders, Damon John, Carl Brown, J. Alexander Martin, and Keith Perrin, spent every waking hour designing and sewing and selling clothes. Sales will top a breathtaking $100 million this year, thanks in large part to rap giant LL Cool J. Next level, FUBU. He wears FUBU all the time. But when the guys first approached him, he didn't like their stuff. So they showed up in his driveway every day for months with a new batch of threads. It's all persistence. That is the key. Hip-hop met the work ethic in Hollis, Queens, and a philosophy was created along the way. FUBU means for us, by us. We're basically making these clothes for ourselves and, and for people who understand what we're doing. And if you understand what we're doing, it's for you and it's by us. The FUBU formula for success includes preaching what they practice. They are fixtures in the schools and churches of Queens. We want you guys to keep your heads straight, have a good heart, Stay in church because it's going to keep you grounded. And if you have education, we're here to say nobody, nobody can stop you at all. Thank you. On the street where they started, they're greeted with warmth and affection because the four old friends never forgot where they came from. You know, that's what you got to do. You got to pull everybody up the ladder and let them know that it's out here and you can get it if you really work for it. And in Hollis, Queens, that's a business plan and a plan for life. Please. Harry Smith, CBS News, New York. And that is the CBS Evening News for tonight. Bob Schieffer will be along Sunday with Face the Nation. Now here's Mike Wallace with a look at what's coming up on Sunday evening on 60 Minutes. He was a convicted killer who served his time and is now a free man. If people are scared to have him in their neighborhood, tough luck. Also, the man who runs Disney takes on the Southern Baptist to think the company made famous by Mickey Mouse is running a Mickey Mouse operation when it comes to adhering to family values. Sunday on